It shall be therefore a witness unto you, lest you deny your God. Mm -hmm. Verse 28. So Joshua uh, let the people depart every man to his inheritance. That's good. Okay. Jeremiah uh, 10, I'll start at uh, 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Learn not the way of the heathen. If you're doing it and the so-called white man is doing it, you know you're wrong. If you're doing it and the other nations enjoy doing it, you know you're wrong. Yep. You know you need to think about, oh shit, if these Chinese people like this, I don't, I don't think I need to be doing this. Google over there celebrating. Uh, I don't know about this. This might not be right. If I can say this, man, all the things that the brother was going into earlier that our people are celebrating, they're customs of the other nations, man. Whether you want to talk about uh, Christmas, that goes back to Babylonian uh, customs. And then our people are also into uh, 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 sun uh, worshiping with Ra and all these other uh, Egyptian and the Hellenists, the, the Hellenists, no, the, the Greeks, you know. Greek Everything God. that our yep. people are into in America is it's all wrapped up with those empires that we was in captivity to. But the Lord told us, learn not the way of the heathen. That's why we get jacked up right now, man. Because we want to take everybody else's way on instead of accepting the simplicity of the way that the Most High gave us. That's right, that's right. You know? And this is one, you know, quick one to back up because we're coming into a real demonic time right now, man. We're going into these goddamn holidays. I hate this time of the year at worst. I get real depressed, so I'm going to have to just pray and fight that really have a spirit just to endure, you know? Uh, this is uh, Amos chapter 5. I'll start at verse uh, 21. I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will smell not in your solemn assemblies. And the Most High uh, saying this through Amos right here is because the Most High, he, he's not looking upon Christmas. Celebrate Thanksgiving, Easter, Valentine's. Because those are none of the, 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 the high holy days that we're supposed to reverence as written. You know? I'll be, be making sure I have to work on the days. You know what I'm saying? Just so I don't got to deal with all that bullshit. Huh? You know what I'm saying? At my job, they got a shift oh, bid. They got a shift bid. If you want to work on Christmas, if you don't want to work on Christmas today, I, I work all that shit. You know? <laughs> I work all that shit. Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh, New Year's, fucking. Yeah. I, I, I work on all them fucking days, man. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that shit. I eat, I eat when I get home. Yeah, Dolphin said, Jesus, hate him. Man. Never yeah. Shit, my job be packed. My job is stupid. A bunch of stupid motherfuckers, but they, 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 they like fuck that Christmas shit. <laughs> well, they, they actually working so they can buy more shit. You know what I'm saying? Working. They, nah, I'm working because I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> say, fuck it. Shit is forced in my. <laughs> yeah, in my last job, they hated me. Anytime them holidays come around, they would just look at me like, man, this nigga. <laughs> Yeah, he don't do shit. He got the devil in him. Right? <laughs> but they couldn't do nothing. Cause you know I have my own office. Yeah. So they couldn't, like, I didn't have, I wouldn't have none of that stuff in there. Yeah. But then I walk out my office, it's everywhere, right? Yeah. Even American yeah. flags, every, all that. <laughs> everything. But you come in there, nothing. Yeah. Nothing. See, that's I would come in during, uh, like, you could, you know, the last few weeks before Christmas break. Yeah. I would come in. Maybe leaving little trinkets and things on my desk. Take this right in the trash. <laughs> hey, did you get that that can of goodies? Yeah, I got it. Oh, I gave yeah. it to such and such. Yeah, yeah. I had a beat. That was real good. Man, that shit was sitting in that trash can. Right? Yeah, my boss actually seen something in my desk because she had just came by and asked for something. And I opened up my desk. There was something that she gave me for Christmas like last year. She was like, you still got that here? <laughs> I was like, yeah, you know, I just... I, I just left it here, I guess, you know. Yeah. I was just like, really, I was like, man, fuck this thing. <laughs> my, my, my supervisor, this lady, she gonna give, she gonna give everybody a picture frame. So, but, but all through the year, you know, we be going through the holidays. I look in the break room. I just keep going. I wouldn't even be worried about it, right? So, Christmas comes. She done gave everybody a picture frame, but me. Now everybody in the office is like, what the fuck this lady give us a picture frame? Yeah. So I'm laughing like, man, I ain't got to worry about none of that. Yeah. Shit. At that point, it all just tapered off. I didn't have to worry about it. nothing no more. Yeah, I was no like, more little I was treatments. Saying, uh, in my last job, I had a motherfucker that was buying everybody 12 packs. Yeah, he was buying everybody 12 packs of Christmas shit. He ain't buy me nothing. And but, he already, but he already knew. 
He already knew, so that's what I'm saying. But the people who didn't know, they were like, man, why you ain't get, why you ain't get Mike back, man? What's up? He was like, shit. He was like, shit. If I'm gonna get Mike, uh, he said, if I'm gonna get Mike a motherfucking 12 pack, I'm gonna have to do it on December 26th. Yeah. <laughs> that's real. I said, you got that right. Yeah. You got more? Yeah, if I can say this, but that's the whole point. We we going in, we joking about it, but that, that's the vanity of America that America has got our people holding on to, man. Celebrating and uplifting this place by spending money consuming on all these bullshit ass holidays and not really preparing their mind for what's really going on in the world, man. Yeah. Every day these brothers, they on that Russia uh, TV. Heavy, man. RT. But that, that RT is popping right now. That's a lot yeah. of good information nah, coming out, man. Fresh TV as well. It's in your face, man. You can't, you can't avoid that uh, there's a presence, a spiritual presence on the earth, and there's about to be a dramatic shift in everything that you know of, man. It ain't no mistake that in that same chapter, it's, uh, it's telling you how you hate your feast days and all that, but that's the same chapter that's telling you the day of the Lord is gonna be darkness and not light. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just like right. your brother said, you ain't being prepared, you ain't being prepared for what's coming, shit. Yeah. You get a little sleep, look, be, so you can be easy work. That's right. right. And that's what we out here doing. We out here setting up the tables, but you niggas don't want to come to the feast, man. But we understand through the, uh, the process of prophecy, See, that only the elect gonna come, you know. But I just want to get this real quick because this is what we trying to do. But this is Saint Matthew uh, 24 and uh, and, and 46. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. You know, and that and that's self-explanatory, man. We out here preaching this word that it falls on the ears of the elect men who gonna come out here and faithfully uh, preach the words of the heavenly Father, man. Read that last part again, that last line. Uh, uh, yeah, St. Matthew 24 and 46. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. That's what I'm saying. And then uh, they tell you to uh, give attendance to reading until I come. So what you going to be doing when, you, when he come back? Huh? What he going to find you doing? A, a doer of the word and not a hearer only. Uh, yeah. Also says that, so you better be doing something. You better be doing the right thing, like huh? your brother's talking about. Because that's the transfer of, 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 the, of the whole situation. Like, we're telling our people to abstain from all this idolatry and come back to the ways of the Heavenly Father. In the times we're in right now, we know that our Savior, Yahweh Shah, is about to make his return. So what manner of man of you to be, like it says in Peter's, in all holy conversation and, and godliness, man? Meaning how you conduct in your everyday life, whether it be from your diet, your decision making, you know, how you're dealing with brothers chiefly because we're around each other the most. And then preaching the word, doing the work, having all hands on deck. None of that sitting in the background, that, that non-participant bullshit, man. The times is, is far and went for that. You know? Nah, that was it on that. This is Deuteronomy, chapter 29, verse 16. For ye know how we have dwelt in the land of Egypt. It's the same message we was talking that Joshua was talking about. The same message. Go ahead. And how we came through the nations which ye passed by. Mm -hmm. And ye have seen their abominations and their idols, wood and stone, silver and gold. But this ain't nothing new. Still, still following after all these whack ass gods. Mm -hmm. This ain't nothing new. You still, in that time you was getting them tattooed all over your body. Walking around with, with rosary beads and all that. That's straight from Babylon. Rosary beads. Ain't nothing new. Niggas was doing it then, and they doing it now. But the Lord said, go away from them. Go ahead. Which were among them. Lest there should be um, among you, you men or woman or family or tribe whose heart turneth away this day from the Lord, our power. To go and serve the gods of these nations, lest there should be among you, you a root that beareth gal and wormwood. So you gotta be, move all that stuff away, which at that time, like in Joshua, Moses, we gonna do it. We gonna do it. We gonna worship that stuff no more. Guess what happened? They just went ahead and did it. Same people. Go ahead. And it come to pass, when he heareth the words of this curse, that he bless himself in his heart, mm -hmm. saying, I shall have peace. So he hear that. It's talking about a man that's saying, yeah, I understand all that, but you know what? I'm going to just do what I can do. I'm just going to go ahead and make it. 
the Lord ain't bringing fire down if mm. I if I go and eat this food or if I go and sleep with this woman. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. And I'll, I'll repent later. I'll uh, kill some turtle doves. I'll make sure I put some money in the bucket. Make sure I put some money in the bucket. I'll be okay. Go ahead. I walk in the imagination of mine heart mm -hmm. to add drunkenness to thirst. To add, to add stupidness to an already ignorant person. Uh -huh. That's what you're doing when you're following all these different customs, one after the other. Mm -hmm. You're just falling by worse and worse. A nigga will go from New Year's Eve, all, from the first day all the way through December uh, 25th with just nothing but wickedness. Yes. Adding drunkenness to thirst. Mm -hmm. just to say this, brother? Go ahead. If you, you know, brothers ever, uh, you know, been drinking a night before and you wake up with cotton mouth, that's the worst feeling. Mm -hmm. So to be drunkenness added, you know, to your thirst, that shit's horrible. Yeah. First thing you do is, is wake up looking for water. You're heading straight, straight to the kitchen. So that's that that's like that's that's basically that's making your situation worse than what it is. You you already thirsty, but you got drunkenness. Anybody know what drunkenness do? You're you you you're left with a dry cotton mouth, chap lips. You know, so that's 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 just adding or worse to your situation. That's a great point. What verse you got? Uh, I'm at uh, verse 19. I'm on 20 now. Verse 20. The Lord will not spare his anointed. So the man that's saying that you know what I ain't worried about it I'm gonna do me. The Lord is not gonna spare that man. He's about to read. The Lord ain't gonna have no love for you. Cause you didn't want to follow His way and you want to go your own way. Don't start calling on Him when it's too late. That's right. Cause you had that time period of grace to get yourself together, but you didn't want to take it. You wanted to have it your own way. Like I always say, every little lust that comes to your mind, you fulfill it. You don't deny yourself nothing. You follow all worldly pleasures, everything. Some people to the point where they're sleeping with little kids. That's 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 when you think about it. That's that's what porn is designed for you to do. How do you start off with porn? Nobody starts off watching a woman sleep with a horse, right? It ain't that wild. You always start off with what the Cinemax is. Titty there. Yeah. But nothing else. Then you go into both titties, maybe a little trim, right? Now you find yourself with a dirty magazine, hustler. She got her legs open. You, you, you own cloud nine, right? Now you watching the videos. But see, most people what kind of tapers off there. You might you you watch a, uh, the man with the woman, and then the woman with the woman, and that's it. But a lot of people they just keep following after their own lust. Yep. Sitting from that, in front of that computer, and they're not denying themselves anything. Mm -hmm. Everything that pops up, click it, click it. Mm -hmm. Now you're watching mm -hmm. a man and a man. Or you're watching a uh, uh, transvestite with another man. So because he got a wig on, right, yeah. it's cool. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Mm -hmm. Now you out there watching Beastie Out. Mm -hmm. Now you out there watching Child. Mm -hmm. That's 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 how Esau designed his yep. system to work. He's trying to catch you up, Damn. draw you away, worse and worse. And my control you talking about earlier. That's exactly what it is. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it is. I'm gonna start verse twenty. Verse twenty. The Lord will not spare him, but then the anger of you the have, Lord. You have what's the what's the universal signal for pornography? <laughs> Triple X. Triple X. And what's that? When you get into that understanding of what is that XXX, if you have, it comes from Apollyon, which is the destroyer. Now, what is the Greek name for Apollyon? It's Helios. What is the number for Helios? It's a thousand. And when you look at the Roman numerals, ten times ten times ten. XXX. That's what that. That's what pornography is for. For you to follow that way of Satan. Yeah, and another way, like the brother was saying, another way to say uh, Helios is Eos. How do you spell Eos? I-O-S. iPhones. Mm. I-O-S. I mean, it sounds crazy, but...
but this is Satan's system. Mm -hmm. It's all designed to get you to, to fall away. That's yeah. what you know. Now, just because you got, I have an iPhone, everybody like, nah, you have to count. That's not it. I hope that's not it. I, I'll throw this shit across the street. Mm -hmm. But that's just because you have an iPhone doesn't mean that you're following Satan. But what he does is he puts it behind the veil. Yeah. Because if he put it out there, you, you buy the phone.